This morning, uh, Minister Cipollone and I are here today to announce another step in the government's cushioning of the economic blow of COVID-19. The government's priority has been to support and keep people in jobs. We've done this through the wage subsidy scheme, changes to our taxation system and support for small and medium enterprises. In the budget, there have been significant investments in job-creating areas such as infrastructure, housing, the environment, further support for small and medium businesses, exporters, and importantly, a massive investment in trades training and apprenticeships. We have always acknowledged that we would not be able to save every single job, but we are doing everything we can to keep people in work and help create new jobs. We do understand how tough it is and has been for people who have experienced a sudden drop in income and are now looking for further work opportunities or to retrain. Today we're taking a further step to cushion the blow for those who have lost their jobs because of COVID and have experienced a significant income drop through the establishment of the COVID income relief payment. Minister Cipollone will have more to say on the details about this in a moment, but it is similar to the schemes that were put in place after the Canterbury earthquakes and the global financial crisis. The fact that this is the third time that governments have needed to do something like this in the wake of a crisis is an indication that we need to look at a possible enduring solution when it comes to people who experience a short, uh, sorry, an immediate significant drop in income. The issue of social or employment insurance is on the government's work program. Uh, earlier this year, Business New Zealand and the Council of Trade Unions jointly wrote to the Future of Work Ministers Group to ask us to do further work on social insurance and those further investigations and that work is underway now. Many countries around the world have these sorts of social insurance programs that are linked to people who lose their jobs being supported through temporary income payments and access to training and education opportunities. It is worth New Zealand now considering if this should become a more permanent arrangement. But for now, this is a payment that will not only support families and households who have unexpectedly found themselves out of work, it will also act as a further stimulus to the economy with additional income available and being spent in our communities. I'll now hand over to Minister Cipollone to run through the details and then we'll take your questions. Good morning everyone. Uh, as the Minister for Finance has said, COVID-19 has put the livelihoods of many New Zealanders at risk. We're not alone. Around the globe, many other countries face similar situations. Like Australia, the UK and many other countries, we can't escape the reality that there will be job losses and people's lives will be affected. The measures we've taken to protect jobs and help businesses stay afloat against the impacts of COVID-19 is unprecedented. The wage subsidy alone has helped more than 1.7 million employees. That's 34% of New Zealanders through lockdown. The steps we have put in place to help our most vulnerable was quick and proactive. The very first thing we did in response to COVID as part of our economic response package was increase benefits by $25 per week and double the winter energy payment for 2020. We injected $27 million into the social services sector and a further $30 million into helping those with immediate needs around food and welfare. But unemployment will rise before it improves, and there is a new cohort of job seeker uh, who will be under immense pressure to get back on their feet to meet their living costs. They are New Zealanders facing job losses that may not qualify for a benefit. They may have high living costs in line with their previous earnings, uh, and the labour market they are searching in will look different. In ordinary times, these job seekers would find work relatively quickly or manage their costs over time without extra support. However, these times are ex extraordinary. The temporary income support payment is designed to give people breathing space so they have time to seek new employment. It eases the pressure on people to adjust to their new financial circumstances. It is designed to reduce the negative impact of job losses on individuals and their families. From the 8th of June, people who've lost their job through the impacts of COVID-19 can apply for a short-term income relief payment. It will be available to people who've lost a job or a business since 1st of March because of COVID-19. The payment will be paid weekly for up to 12 weeks for people in households earning under $2,000 per week. 
For people previously working 30 hours or more, they will be eligible for $490 per week. For those working over 15 hours, they will get $250 per week. These payments come with expectations from the government. People receiving this payment need to be looking for work, upskilling and training, and seeking out employment opportunities. It is a temporary support that will help people bounce back from what can be a very stressful situation. The COVID-19 income relief payment will be available until the 30th of October. Rebuild, rebuilding the economy is about solid decision making and strong leadership and the government will continue to do what's necessary to support New Zealanders to get through the impacts of COVID-19.